Yo, what is up guys? Sam Pack here and welcome back for another video and today I want to give you guys a tour of my new 2022 desk setup. So about a year ago, I did a desk setup video on YouTube and I posted it, not expecting anybody to really look at it, but a lot of you guys were actually really, really fond of it. So that's why I wanted to do a new updated video of my current desk setup. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys have seen it evolved over time and there's a lot of changes that have been happening incrementally, but today I wanna show you guys the final results of those changes and make it into a full length video. And so I kinda wanna just make this a little bit more casual and not really super formal so I'm gonna I'm gonna honestly do this a little bit vlog style for you guys so you guys can see exactly you know what is going on on this desk setup right now so the biggest change and major change is definitely the desk so let me show you guys that right now real quick so I went with these IKEA Carlby kitchen tops and I got two of them to make an L-shaped desk. So the reasoning why I made the L-shaped desk is so that I can separate the work and the play from each other because I would honestly just keep constantly wanting to play video games all the time, but I knew myself that I needed to separate that and in order to do that, I thought the L-shaped desk was gonna be the best option for me. So that's why we went for this desk arrangement. So we're still using the same standing desk legs from fully and I just pretty much just swapped out the the tops for them and it was super simple very easy to do and on this side I just have a my Alex drawer that I had in the previous video and also got a IKEA legs on the other side and I didn't really need a standing desk for this side because I'm gonna be mostly gaming and I usually don't stand while I'm gaming so it just didn't make sense to buy another standing legs so we didn't go for that and just went for this option instead. So this is the productivity side where I do my content creating and do my work stuff, day-to-day -day tasks. And we're currently using this 34 inch ultra wide by LG, really love it. It has amazing colors for video editing and just really love the screen space on it. So the main reason why I swapped out the Samsung ultra wide was because it was actually not very color accurate. So in order to get more color accurate videos, I opted to get this LG which was really really amazing and of course we still got the BenQ screen bar and I still love it to death really really amazing there's no glare that goes on to the computer itself so really really great and also still using the Logitech Brio and for the computer we're using the 14 inch M1 Pro and we actually returned the M1 Max because it was just way too much for me. So honestly, it was not worth the investment. So we opted to go for the M1 Pro instead with 16 gigs of RAM. And my speaker of choice is the BM5A. Really, really love these speakers. I've had them ever since we were, I was doing music production. So wanted to keep the same. And of course, we also have the BM9 subwoofer with it as well. And we're still using the Scarlett 2i2 to connect all the speakers together. And my keyboard of choice is the F188 by Geonworks. Really, really love this keyboard. And it has a PC bottom, so it's made out of polycarbonate on the bottom. And we put some BCPs, black cherry pies in these, and you guys know, love black cherry pies. And really love this Artisan by Matcher Studio. She did this as a wedding gift for us, so really, really shout out to her. And of course, GMK Botanical, looking really, really nice on this keyboard. And for my wrist rest, my wife actually got this for me for my birthday last year and this is the functional co wrist rest it's a wood risen wrist rest and if you guys are really interested in this wrist rest please check out the links down below and you guys can get 10% off if you use code Sam pack pack and currently using the MX masters mouse really love this mouse because mostly of the scroll reel on the side so I can use that for final cut for my video editing so really really love this and it can connect up to three devices 
devices. So I really love this mouse. And as you guys can see, there's a bunch of GroveMate stuff on my desk. And yeah, huge, huge shout out to GroveMate for sending these out. First, we got the MagSafe charger right here. Really, really amazing, very heavy duty. And this is definitely not gonna tip over or anything like that. Really love the colors on it. And you're gonna have to buy the MagSafe uh, separately. Honestly, my favorite has always been this desk shelf. I've seen so many people have it on Instagram and I was so jealous that I really wanted it so bad. And this is honestly one of the best pieces that GroveMate has in my opinion. Has a really nice walnut finish, really, really great. And it has these little shelves that you can put this tray in here. And I have a bunch of my hard drive cables here, my remote, my knife to open packages. And yeah, just a bunch of accessories that you can put in here, which is really cool. The only thing I would say though is just be careful when you're pushing it in. If you push it a little too far, you might lose it. So I kind of just keep it a little bit, a little dent in here so that you can't put your finger in here to, to pull it out. That's the only flaw I would say that, that this has. But yeah, just be careful of that. I always keep a couple fingers in here before not entirely closing it. There's room for iPad in there and a bunch of other stuff. My coasters, you guys can see. And this is actually supposed to be a cup for a plant for like a succulent or something. I honestly thought that they were gonna send me with the succulent in here, but you actually have to get it yourself. But so for right now, I'm honestly just using it as a pen holder for now. But yeah, you can use that to put a small plant or succulent in there. But yeah, just coming back here, this is the laptop standby. By GroveMate as well and really really sturdy this is made out of like metal in here and some felt so that it doesn't scratch up the laptop but really really nice heavy duty laptop stand really really nice love the colors on it and GroveMate actually did not send this one out but I actually purchased this uh, last year and this is the GroveMate Key Cult collab desk mat there was a group buy for this so I don't think you can actually purchase this anymore but yeah yeah, really, really amazing desk mat. One of my favorites. So a lot of people actually ask all the time about what what is actually in this uh, this rack mount right here. But it's pretty much just my uh, my power conditioner, um, firm and power conditioner. This is actually a audio. Patch bay XLR patch bay, but I actually don't even use it as much anymore. And uh, yeah, just got my networking stuff in here. Yeah, and these are just my hard drives for video backups and project files and whatnot. And yeah, that's that's <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing too crazy that's going on in this rack. But I just really like having it and having a place for my hard drives and all that stuff. So yeah, really like this a lot. And if you guys are interested in cable management yeah uh your boy is really look at that really really terrible at cable management so we're not gonna go into crazy into the cable management right now because yeah it's 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 working for what i need to so that's all that matters right because there's just way too many cables that are on here so um it's hard to manage them because there's just way too much um and i i did my, i did my best honestly like I, I did my best for real <laughs> all right so moving on to my gaming streaming side here you go so for my gaming pc i have a 3090 in there with a 5950x and 32 gigs of ram and honestly i'll just put a list of the whole specs in the description down below don't want to get too into it but yeah um really really powerful really really great love the computer spent too much money on it i think <laughs> so over here we got two 27 inch monitors from lg i really love lg monitors because of the colors and yeah both of these are for 144 hertz monitors 27 inches and yeah love them to death Honestly, if you guys saw my other Instagram post, I did have a third one, but I actually got rid of it because it's just too much space and I didn't really use the other monitor, so we kind of got rid of that one. For this side, I'm actually rocking the Bacaneco by Canon Keys right now. Um, really great budget keyboard in my opinion. Only thing I would say though is they definitely need to fix up some of their QC as much as possible because I know they are trying to get these out uh, to the public as fast as they can but honestly they still need to work on their QC a little bit because if you guys can see 
mine is a little you guys can see that there is definitely need some sanding or something done because there's really sharp corners on here and that's the only big big complaint that i have because i have scratched myself on this so but other than that really great keyboard hot swap so really like it i actually have a carbon fiber plate in here with some hyperglides and i'm currently using the a6500 as my face cam right now uh, connected with the elgato uh stream cam, cam link yeah cam link i think that's what's called it. and um yeah really love this camera love the image quality that comes out of it and i'm still using the go xlr mini really love this audio interface for streaming and yeah just overall great great option if you guys can pick one up yeah just really love this audio interface mostly because of the faders because you can map them to uh, certain ones like music or the system audio and yeah this is just a bunch of routing stuff that's really really awesome that comes with the go XLR yeah highly suggested if you guys are streamers or just if you want a good overall audio interface and I'm still using the SM7B as my main microphone and it's attached with a cloud lifter that goes into the Go XLR. And still using the Rode PS1 microphone stand. And this is actually my artisan macro pad right here so all of this is actually macros for my stream and um i don't know honestly like it's really hard to get into telling you which one's which but uh yeah they change scenes they change the volumes they do a bunch of stuff but yeah they're all for stream and honestly i kind of wanted to have a nice uh way to display my artisans and this one is actually by quavier he actually sent out this um to me so really, really big thank you for that yeah, really, really appreciate it. And I also just picked up this Elgato Key Light Air. Really love this light. Really, really small, compact, and you know, doesn't take up too much room on your desk. And all software controlled, so you can control the white balance on on the on your computer as well. So which is really nice. And yeah, just really like this light. Only thing I would say though with these lights is definitely it is kind of eye piercing whenever you are streaming and stuff. But once you get past it, it's actually not as bad but yeah really really good lighting for your streams i have this amazon shelf as well it's a walnut color and i put my figurines up there a little bit of decorations and yo do you guys see that yo check that out it's a funko of me look at that <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, my uh, my nephews actually got this for me for uh, Christmas recently. So yeah, this is this is probably one of my favorite favorite gifts of all time. And I want to show you guys my favorite keyboard stand. It's actually by Custom Niches, and really awesome 3D printed keyboard stand. And if you guys want a discount, you guys can use code Sam Packpack as well. And for my chair, I'm still rocking the Herman Miller Aeron chair. Really really amazing office chair. Highly recommend to get one if you guys can and honestly you guys don't need to buy a brand new one even just getting a used one is actually really a great option just make sure you just do a little bit of research before you purchase one if there was a chair i would get for a lifetime honestly this is definitely one of them and a really really great investment so i think i covered everything so far but if i didn't please leave a comment down below if you have any other questions about any of the products on my desk i'll leave all of the links in the description Descriptions down below so you guys can check out every little thing that is in here really apologize if this is a scuffed video just trying to keep it as casual as possible in this one if you guys know me from the streams I am the king of scuffs so that is not new to you guys but yeah thank you guys for watching today don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys